given a node b i can ask the following question can i add a node right after b okay i want to add the number a new node right after b can i do that what will i do if i want to insert a node after b i'm going to create a new node first of all i have this new node and then the brief of this node is obviously going to point to v right and the next of this node is obviously going to point to the node after v now the brief of the node after v is going to point to this new node and the next of v is going to point to this new node this will ensure so this is again we have a doubly linked list the next question i want to ask is i want to remove this node u this is something which wouldn't have been possible easily in a singly linked list easily in the sense not in constant time but we are going to show that given this node u it's possible to remove this node u in constant time in a doubly linked list and we will discuss why this wouldn't have been possible in a singly linked list after we show how this is how to do this now how to do this okay i i want to remove u right so what i have to do is that i have to i have to traverse prov of u to find out where the previous node is the address of the previous node now once i have that i keep it aside and i also traverse next to find out the next node once i have that i keep that also aside so now i have the previous node and i have the next node now what does it have to do i remove all the the next and prove pointers of the of these two nodes and then i appropriately mark them finally i will have to remove this new node u uh, by do a delete operation memory allocated to this node will be free okay now what is the issue so this is again as you could see this is again constant time because it does not depend on the length of the list but the question is why we wouldn't have been able to do this if we had used a singly linked list and what is the reason the reason is that in a singly linked list if someone gives me a node view i don't know which was its previous node right that's the main catch so this node which was the previous node i don't know i can't get a handle of that node only if i can get the handle of that node the next value in that node i can change but i can't do that now the only way i can do it is i traverse from the head node and come to I traverse from the head and reach this particular node and only then i can find that out so that is going to take me a time which depends on where u is it's not a constant time it's going to depend on the location of u if u was the second last element it's going to take me n minus 1 traversals right n minus 1 node traversal so if u were the first if u were the second node obviously i would i would have taken it would have taken only two node traversals but if it had, if it had been n minus 1 or n by 2 for example they are all would have depended on the number of elements in the list right so okay so in the worst case it's going to take something close to n where n is the length of the list and in the best case obviously it's going to be a constant can we write a function which can reverse a doubly linked list that's what we are going to look at now so as you can see uh, we'll explain it with an example there's a doubly linked list here with the numbers 10 15 10 5 15 20 in that order and i want to reverse it into 20 15 5 10 how am i going to do it what we do is the following we're going to first remove the front element from 10 and add it into a new list remove front and add front to a new list let me explain it so first we remove this node right this is the front node and i'm going to remove it using the remove front function and i'm going to add this node as front of the new list 
that's going to come here. This is step one. Next thing I do is I'm going to remove, I'm going to repeat the same procedure again. In the old list, five is now the topmost node. So head is now pointing to five. I'm going to again remove the front node of this list, which is now contains the number five. So this is step two. And I'm going to add this as front node of add to front of into this new list which we are constructing. 10 and 5 got reversed into 5, 10. Let's continue this procedure. Next, I am again going to remove the front node from our first list. This is uh, will be our step 3. I'm going to remove that node and I'm going to again add that as I'm going to add 15 as the head of the second list. Right, so we can already see that things have reversed. So let's just continue the procedure and finish this. Now we take 20, which is the last uh, node. And that is step four. And again, that node is now, 20 is again added as the front node in the second list. So now we have a completely reversed list. As you can see, we have got a completely reversed list. Right. So obviously we have to fill up the null pointers that would have been filled up automatically when we add a, add a node to the front. Right. Thanks.